you notice that E is being repeated. So therefore, it is no longer distinct, right? Therefore, it is not considered a set itself. If I really want it to become a set, okay, then I need to rephrase this description, okay? So, uh, to have it in this manner, okay, I will have to maybe we define this set to be distinct letters in the word clever itself, right? So that we don't repeat the letter E. Okay, so whenever we have a set and we write it as a description, okay, or, or we write or we list it out, right? Okay, it needs to be individual, so no two can be the same. Okay? So that is how we define a set. Then uh, some locations that I need to introduce to you first. Okay. Um, hang on, huh? So okay. So now I've given you all the examples about what is not considered a set, right? Give me an example of what is then considered a set, huh? Okay. So if I were to say S to be the set, of all the vowels in the English alphabet. Okay, then this is what we call a well-defined set. And it is also distinct. We can say S to be a set because there is only A, E, I, O, U. Right? So therefore S can be called a set itself. Okay? And to write things out, okay, uh, there are many ways of writing. We can write it in words, we can describe things in words. Otherwise we can also label uh, write in notation. So we use a capital letter most of the time to denote a set equals to curly brackets only, okay, no other form of brackets. So in notation wise, other than writing in words, okay, we can write it in symbols like that. I'll talk more about how to describe a set in a moment. Okay. So when we have a set like that, some symbols that you need to recognize is that I see that A is a part of the set. Instead of using the part of, okay, we say that A is an element. Okay, of the set S. Right? And to describe this, the notation that we use is A is an element of S. Okay? about another thing or B for example. B is clearly not part of this set. So B is not an element of okay, it's not an element of S. And to write this notation okay we write B then the symbol for an element of and we cross it out. Okay? The symbol, by the way, is not a small letter E. I write it as a letter C, then I put a line in between. Okay? So make sure you write it clearly and properly.
page 3 of your practice now question. Okay. We have that A is the set of even positive integers less than 10. And in part A, we want to list all the elements of A in set notation. So what does this mean is that we need to write it out in our curly brackets form. Okay. And then we list out all these elements. Alright. So that means list out all the numbers that is even positive less than 10. Alright. And what would they be? What's that going to be, Dylan? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You sure? Don't have that. Okay, so no 10, yeah? Because it is strictly less than, does not include 10. So the elements would be 2, 4, 6, 8 only. So A is equals to, okay, A being the set that has been described goes to the curly brackets and then we list out all the elements. of the elements is true or not. So is part I true? Part I is it true? Is that what you think? True. Uh? Okay, so A is part of it, so true. 7 is not an element of A. What would the answer be? Teresa? True? Okay, so 7 is not. 10 is an element of A. True or false? Uh, Amanda? False, huh? Okay, and zero is not an element of A. True or false? False, huh? Okay, so zero is not false, sir. On this note, I just want to just point out, okay, zero itself, okay, is an integer. It is also even. Why is zero not in the set? Does it fulfill the criteria about being positive? No. Huh? So then, is zero negative? No. Okay. So zero is neither positive nor negative. So therefore, it shouldn't have appeared earlier on already. Okay. notation uh, that I've just introduced to you. Okay, describe whether each of the following is an element of or is not. Yeah? Okay? No, no, what am I doing? Sorry. I was thinking that yes, it's not an uh, element of, so not, I'm thinking of false. Yeah. Thank you. Okay? Uh, using element of or not an element of, okay, describe whether each of the following is an element or not. Give you a minute, okay, tell me or to write down whether 2, 5, 9, or 6, okay, how, how should the notation look like?
answer. Again, can you tell me what is pi? Okay, it's an element of A. What about part 2? Uh, Jin Yang? It's not, is it? Not, okay. Not an element of A. 9, uh, what about part? Uh, is it part 3 for 9? Uh, Alia? Not an element of? Okay, and for part 4, what would it be, uh, Bernice? 6 is an element of A, okay? And question 2, given another set, B is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, all the way to 30, how many elements would there be in the set B? So Chen? How many elements would there be in the set B? these three uh, ways. Okay? So for this one is the 
set X, the set S, okay, contains elements X such that X is a positive even integer less than 10. So, this is the condition regarding the elements. At this juncture, we don't have a very comprehensive set of notations that we are familiar with. That's why it seems like uh, for part 3, it seems like it's very long, okay? And like, why not I choose by words or by mistake, okay? But if you have a more fuller set of uh, notations that you have uh, when you uh, further your studies in maths, right? Okay, uh, this statement itself can be reduced to uh, more notations, uh, okay? So positive integer, usually we use such uh, notation just to name a few. So the letter Z must be written this way, represents integers, plus means positive. Okay? To say that it is even, we can say that X is 2N such that N is an integer. Okay? Because even is that it must be a multiple of 2. Yeah. So if you do more maths and you read more, okay, you'll be familiar with such integers. Okay? But I will not uh, go into that. Right. Let's look at practice now one. Why? Okay, so you can say that D has an extra element 
which is 10 or you can just say because D has one more element than C
uh, since MP set, sometimes we also call it a null set. Okay, uh, the notation, other than writing in this manner, we can write it in this manner. A zero with a slash across it. Okay, it's called a five symbol. Thank you. 
Okay, so in question 9, we want to figure out whether is it true or false and then explain if it is false, why is it so? So in part I, is it true or false? Who says that it's true? How about false? Okay, so it is actually false because C is clearly an element of the set itself.
like a set like that, then I can say that this set is an element of this. Okay, so a set can be a video set. So for example, um, let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, if I were to describe, uh, giving you an example, how it does a set within really a set works in real life, okay? Uh, maybe I can let a set A be such that all the elements are such that X is a uh, student in 404. So that means all of you are inside it, right? Okay? Okay? Then after that, I can create another set of that set of class. Okay, so I can have maybe X to be is all boys. Okay. But hang on up. Sorry, let me rethink. No, no, no. Sorry, let me let me think what is all boys.
if we want to describe the elements of this set uh, in set notation. So I'm looking at part B. So we have that the elements are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Okay, Joseph says that they are prime numbers. So therefore, in describing it, I'll write that x is such that x is a prime number. I need you to be able to recognize prime numbers at this juncture already. Okay, so 2 is a prime number, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, they are all prime numbers. Is 0 a prime number? Is 1 a prime number? No one. Okay, so 0 and 1 are not prime number. Neither are they composite numbers. Right? So part C. until negative 8, negative 4, 0, 4, 8, 12. How will you describe this set? Uh, Joanne, what do you think? Sorry? Yes, multiples of 4. So, Who 
things that it showed for part four. All things is false. Nadia? Yes? True or false? Sorry? True? No answer? True or false? Test of understanding of notations.